Hi everyone and welcome back! If it's your first time here, my name is Kostis and I am a Greek Londoner who loves Eurovision. And in this video, I am going to react to the TikTok videos of the first rehearsals of the Big Five plus Sweden. These are the last first rehearsals I will react to. As always, I've seen the photos, but I haven't seen the TikTok videos. I'm gonna do this with you. I don't think I'm gonna react to the second rehearsals because I don't have time. I'm gonna prepare and fly to Malmo. So I think this is the last video before you see me in Malmo. So let's not waste any more time and let's go straight to these reactions because I cannot wait after the pictures I've seen. Also, do not forget to like and subscribe before we do that. And let's start with the UK. I mean, what I saw in the pictures was crazy. So let's see what we're gonna see here. I love this outfit with her minutes. Look at that. I love the concept. Of the boxing. This is out of the box in my horrible early morning jokes. This is something else. I love the colors. I love everything. Hey, hey it's me, it's Ollie. We're here. Hi Ollie. It is from your pieces. Look at this. I've told you, I've been telling you, Ollie has a great thing behind him. I knew the staging would be on point. He created a box. This is like this is like the showers after a boxing training where intimate things can happen. This is taking the song to another level. This is toxic gay porn when people are in the closet. And you know, after working out, they look at each other at the shower. Maybe they fall for a straight guy, a straight guy who does things with them and that makes them dizzy from the kisses. Like it's, it, it gives other levels to the song. That's crazy. And I love that we see what is going to be seen on the TV a little bit because it makes a difference instead of just seeing it, you know, the whole thing on the stage. We see what people are going to see in the TV. That was great. That was great. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because Oli has heard a lot these last few months. Uh, and that's great. I think. Remember this, that this with the juries is going to be top five material. Remember this, remember this. That was great. I'm so happy for the UK. I'm so happy for Oli because he's a great artist. And let's move to Germany. First of all, the hair, I love it. The outfit, I love it. That's what I was saying. I was saying that he needs to wear something else, not just the t-shirt, the jumper and some jeans, you know? That makes sense. Running from the silence, screaming for joy. Mm -hmm. Hello, it's me, I'm Isaac, and I'm representing... I love the hair! I love the hair! ...in the Eurovision 2024, and I'm absolutely excited to go on the stage here in Miami right now. You know what? This outfit is a simple total black outfit, but it's seems like it has an aesthetic that's what i wanted from him and he's giving it to me and i'm so happy i love the staging he's like in a living room or something but this living room is aesthetically pleasing But still, it doesn't take away from his performance and his voice because that's the, the best aspect of this. It's him. It's him as a great artist he is. Mm -hmm. Now, 
we don't see a lot from this video, but I've seen the pictures, and you probably have seen the pictures as well. And they've done a great job with the staging, but still, it's not overwhelming. It focuses on Isaac, and that's where we need to focus for this song. But it feels like Germany made an effort, and I love that. I love to see that. And let's go to the host country, Sweden. We've seen the staging from Melody Festival, and I don't believe we'll have something different. I've seen the pictures as well, it's very similar. I've also seen Marcus and Martinus live, and they are very, very professional and very good at what they're doing. And these outfits are amazing. Okay, so we are right behind the stage. They've built this whole thing that they had at the Melody Festival, and that's great. I love it. Yeah, basically, it's the same staging, and to be fair, we didn't need anything else because it was performance ready. It's like an MTV awards kind of performance. And I think, like, Marcus and Martinez and Oli, they have two of the best staging I've seen so far. Forgettable. Look at that. Like that's that's a professional pop performance with beautiful like aesthetics uh, for what the song is and um, they are amazing performers. I saw them live in London pre party. I can't say anything bad about them. They are amazing. And let's move to France where I saw that he's wearing total white. Is this gonna be his outfit? I love it. I love it. I think I'm into this. Like I was I was thinking that he would keep the metallic thing that with the reflections and stuff, but I actually prefer that he's doing total white. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sliman. Uh, Hi, Sliman. I'm so happy. Can't wait uh, to uh, start the... What an artist. What a voice. And he seems so humble when he speaks and so smiley. Uh, okay. Yeah, I saw the pictures with the smoke, they look great. Oh, is it the... Was that the moment that he was back? Look, his whole presence, he's there. You know, he demands the stage, and I want for this one, I want to see the camera work because I'm pretty sure he's gonna have close ups, he's gonna have this kind of camera work. And it will make a difference. That was great. I'm very, very happy for Sliman. Like the big five so far are giving everything. And let's go to one of my favorite songs this year and my boyfriend's favorite song this year for Eurovision 2024 Spain. First of all, I love the upgrade on the outfit. We kept the same idea from Benidorm Fest, but this is an upgrade. The course, look at this lace. So now it's trousers. Keyhole, we love that. We love that from the first. Oh, the keyhole was in this box. Great use of the arena. Get the acid. The acid. So basically we've kept the whole the, the, the same thing but upgraded. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Remember this. Spain will do much better than what people think because they're like, oh, her vocals is not, are not that good and blah, blah, blah. This is not about that. This song is not about that. This song is about the feeling, the 
environment, the atmosphere, and they bring that. And then last, but definitely not least, is Italy. With Angelina Mango and La Noia. La Noia. I also saw the pictures, and I'm very intrigued. What's gonna happen? Why did I? The sound isn't available. Why? Okay, we'll see. Watch it without sound. Yeah, the outfit is amazing. The outfits of the dancers are amazing. Look at that piece. Wow. I just love it. And the graphics everywhere are beautiful. Look at that. Uh, I wish I could hear her. So the corset has red as well. I just love this outfit. I love this aesthetics with the flowers at the LEDs. Angelina is giving everything, I'm pretty sure. She's gonna be amazing on that stage. She was amazing when she performed just by herself. So I can only imagine how it will be when she will have dancers and everything. The the aesthetics are beautiful, but I wasn't scared for the aesthetics from Italy. They know aesthetics in Italy. So we've seen them all. We saw all of the first rehearsals of all of the countries. And as for the big five plus Sweden, I have to say I am impressed. We had like shockers. I was shocked when I saw the pictures from all these. And uh, I'm very happy with what I saw in this footage from the TikTok as well. Germany has upgraded a lot the staging and I'm very very happy. Sweden kept it the same but they didn't need anything else. France, I really love the change of the outfit for Sliman. The total white is great I can, and I cannot wait to see the actual camera work. I think it will make a difference and I really 100% trust Sliman. And then Italy. We have Angelina Mango, who is an amazing performer, and now we have also amazing visuals. So, I also can't wait to see the camera work for that. So yeah, overall, I'm so happy this year we're going to have an amazing Eurovision. And I cannot wait to see it. And I'm so happy because I'm going to see it in person. I'm going to see the dress rehearsals in person from the arena. I'm going to be there. I'm going to see how this whole competition is been done and I cannot wait for that. So yeah, this is all very exciting and I want you to tell me, were you shocked from some of these performances and these rehearsals? Let me know in the comments which one you were more impressed from. Also, like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all of the social media at Tostis underscore ESC if you want to be friends and chat about Eurovision and see you very soon at another video. Bye!